I was like, wait. Oh, uh, you would be doing a jet one. It's not the last time you'll be seeing me play a jet game. <laughs> Fighters Assault. Yeah, no, this was a childhood game of mine, which, I'm not gonna lie, it's not very good to many people, it shows its age, but I still enjoy playing it regardless. <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie, it do kinda suck, but that is like, you know, it's a product of its time. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's it's kind of like the time now to, like, talk about Jets, because uh, Top Gun Maverick came out um, about a week ago now? Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, um, I saw it um, on the launch of it. Like, I saw it on the day of the release. I fucking loved it. Yep. I still need to see... My God, I haven't seen the first one in a long-ass time. It's been over a decade. It's been 84 years. No. <laughs> it's been 84 years. <laughs> it's been 84 years. But then you went to the danger zone. And then Goose died. Goose not. <laughs> the cut off. Okay, so every time logic, when I hear you say like no and that it's like a cut off, I just crack up because um because I still like I think I've shown it to you already, but it's from golf with your friends. It's like that was supposed to be a hole in one. No, oh, like you faded out for some reason, and it's just. Funny. Uh, funny thing, whenever is like whenever I do this, nah, I'm actually cutting myself off on purpose. All right. Because I understand that it's funny. Oh, yeah, Golden. Have you seen? Uh, I I I, I, I wondered this too. Have you seen the uh, new Make Your Mark special or? Oops. <laughs> I should have turned sideways. Yeah, I saw it. It was okay. Yeah. I don't want to go into detail about it because there's already a number of people ranting about Gen 5. Like, it's barely started. Like, Jesus. Give it some time. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Gen 1... I mean, Gen 4, the first season, honestly, wasn't the best for me. There's a number of problems with Gen 4. And people are expecting yeah. a lot uh, out of Gen 5 compared to what Gen 4 did. <sighs> Again, I don't want to so go on like a tangent. That. Go ahead, Logic. Is like there are inherent problems with every piece of media. It's just like that. I don't think you'll ever find a perfect piece of media, which is something. Which I, I think, think people go need ahead. to stop with the. I think people need to stop idealizing things and trying to find perfect things because, like, one day, like, you can only get slapped in the face so many times with a fish with the words "reality check" written on it, but. Your idealized perfect vision for something doesn't exist. If anything, like, perfect. like perfection itself is a flaw. Sorry for the interruption. You were saying logic? It's like the pursuit of perfection. It's like the pursuit of perfection hurts more people than it helps because if there was such a thing as perfect, everyone would be unified in that one perfect thing, wouldn't they? It's but the fact that Go ahead. the fact that opinions can be different is like the fact that opinions and mindsets and just anything between two people can be different makes the idea of perfection impossible because there are two different standpoints. Therefore, there is no one perfect outcome because a bunch of people can have answers that are correct. There is like you would never really unironically ask someone which answer is more correct, because that's when context and differences come into. Therefore, perfection is impossible. Thank you for coming in my TED. <laughs> that is sounded quieter than you should have been. Awkward silence, awkward silence, trying to fill in the <laughs> fucking void. I heard that, Riley! You sound much quieter. I don't know what's going on on your end. Why am I sounding like, I quiet? Know. Oh, yeah, you mission accomplished. Yeah, it's like, it's just a practice it's mission. Like, I finished my tirade, and then I'm just like, did I disconnect from the internet again? Because no one's saying anything. 
All right, how about now? You sound better now. Okay. Yeah, start a new game. I played this game so many times to the point where I just know what to do. So it might as well just be like me not having to put in too much effort and just like have a conversation. Hmm. Oops. That is fine. Okay, so that's a little bit of an un, like an unusual uh, camera glitch. It's supposed to be like straight down, but it like turns sideways. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, our mission begins in Tokyo. Apparently. We. Uh, there we go. Uh, stage and tell a thermal bomb has been detonated in the South Pole, causing Tokyo to flood. Dude, if the like, if the South Pole or if the poles or the polar ice caps were melted, it wouldn't just flood Tokyo. It would flood like a majority of the world. Oh man, building must be protected. Your mission: defend the metropolitan metropolitan building. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I don't know. <laughs> Most of this is going to be confusing to you guys. You were going to say something, Riley? I love the bright yellow, blindingly yellow jet. <laughs> That's like your first choice. He's a but, bitch! I'm going to tell I you that right now. Go ahead. I, I can't look at it for too long. It's so bright yellow. <laughs> yeah, but he's a bastard to fight. Oh, I can imagine. Yeah. 900 seconds. 900 seconds. It's weird that they, like, number it out like that instead of, like, saying, like, it's 15 seconds or something. Oh, Jesus. You're going to hear a lot of weird lines said over and over again. Get over yes. here. Ah, damn it. I missed. Oh, come on! Are you serious? Alright. We'll have to do it the hard way. I, okay, can I just say something real quick? Go right ahead. So, Vlad just joined. Hi, Vlad. Hi. On in is like, on instinct, my head just rapidly shifted to the left. Just a second before the Discord sound went off, and I was just like, did my brain just preempt someone joining the call? Ow! Hey, that's you how summoned. That's how that how mafia works. Uh, I'm not happy. <laughs> oh, it's something wrong, Vlad. I watched the state of play and I saw the trailer for Ari Resident Evil 4 remake, and I'm I'm, I'm not fucking happy. <laughs> oh, I'm not happy. I thought everybody was excited for it. Leon shows up and goes, Condor 1, I found baby eagle. Shut the fuck. Leon does not talk like that. <laughs> oh, he does why. now. Leon is a fucking quipping, joking goober. That's like, Hunnigan. Hunnigan, I want to I wanna take you out on a date but once this is all over. God damn it. <laughs> Where's Ada? Ada, God. Oh, all these... Spanish zombies starting fucking fucking up. <laughs> Leon. What? Leon. Uh, they're never Don't do that. I'm... It's gonna be worse. Ashley's gonna be worse in this game. <laughs> Although, like Ashley in the original game was very simple. All you had to do was like look at a dumpster and go, "Bitch, get in." <laughs> um. Okay, Vlad. Vlad, if you hate that kind of love, uh, Nia, uh, that kind of Leon Kennedy. I don't know how you feel about the CG movies like Degeneration and Vendetta and Damnation. I do not like those. <laughs> Would I you? Did, I I didn't like the latest one, not the Netflix one, but the one that made Leon a drunk. But I kind of like made a joke that me and my friend watched it. We went through a marathon of them, and I was like, "Hey, look, Chris traded up. Like Leon was the drunk first, and then Chris became the drunk. Because that <laughs> that's what friends do." <laughs> Substitute your old addiction for a new and potentially worse addiction. <laughs> I just came back feeding the dog. What did I miss? So you didn't uh, like... I'm... Go ahead. I mean... Uh, what? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, Riley. No, you go ahead. Well, I mean, 
you ah, say that, it. and I'm just thinking about the notion about how many gambling addicts went from like gambling casinos to gambling no! with boxes and video <laughs> games. Pachinko. Yeah. 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 Hmm. yeah, listen, Pachinko, that's what Konami stopped making games for, although that might not be the case for much longer, in which case I'm like, oh, god, yeah. fuck, if they damn it. If they can bring back Silent Hill, and look, I don't care if it's Silent Hills or if it's some other new iteration of the franchise, just bring back Silent Hill and give it a fucking good in in incarnation. For God's sakes, we need a new Silent Hill game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take what you said and I'm gonna propose to you something that came out a couple of years ago, but that should scream to the quality of how much they're willing to invest in their properties and the continued, like, quality of the products going forward. Um, Metal Gear Survive. We, we pretend that Metal Gear Survive didn't exist. And the... No, does it, does it? What about eFootball 2022? We, we pretend that doesn't exist either. What about the Silent Hill remasters on the PS3? <laughs> Don't remind me of those! Hey, oh, Vlad! They can't be trusted to make a game now, it, ever. It's not Okay, gonna... okay, if they're not, if they can't fucking do it, then they should at least lend the franchise to uh, to someone else. I yeah, mean, but they're, they're not can... gonna... No. Are they, they're not yeah, gonna but no, do because that? then it's like somebody else will be making money off of something they could have been making money off. And they're I already mean, making... Case in... They're making bank off their fucking Silent Hill Pachinko machines! I mean... Okay, to be fair... Um... Okay, I mean... Wait, hold on. Let me let me check something just to be clear. Because I Though, don't want to end up making a complete idiot of myself online. To be fair, currently, Konami's in a bit of a bind because they put all of their, like, focus on physical gambling, and then the pandemic happened, and they lost so much money. Good. But anyway, as I was saying, <laughs> I was saying, I right I, you say that, Yikes. But you, do remember, but you do remember, one thing that they actually did right... They gave a certain IP to Netflix, and they actually and Netflix made something fantastic with it. Yeah, Castlevania. That's like one of the exceptions. That's true. That's very fair. I trust them to it's make. It's an exception. I trust <laughs> yeah. them to make a good like good Shit. other media, but video games I don't trust them with anymore. <laughs> now, if they could, now if they could be smart, which you know it's saying a lot, and just. Give the IP of Silent Hill, because again, I'm very stuck on Silent Hill, to someone else, I would be so fucking happy. I doubt they would make it, uh, do that, but they could contract another studio to make it, like how uh, Capcom is done with like Ninja Theory or whatever the company I was with DNA. believe... I believe that there's like rumors going around that there's going to be a silent God damn remake it. made by Bloober Team. Oh god. Oh yeah, I heard about <sighs> that. I mm. Yeah, give the fucking game that like contextualized mental illness better than like any medium that has like up until that point and a lot better than a lot of mediums since then to the team that made a game that said mentally ill people basically can't be helped and they should just die. Oh! Uh, that'll, Jesus! That'll, that'll go over well. Ah, Konami, we love you. We hate you, but we love you. Oh man, dude, um, that that's that that's the mindset of fucking Hitler. Oh yeah, basic. Yes, exactly. Because I remember, like, I know that he was incredibly racist towards the Jews, but he also he before the Jews, he firstly hated disabled people, and he would yeah. take some of them and put them in concentration camps. In like gas, like gas rooms and shit. Yes, correct. Yes. Like, it's hard labor it's, too. Like, a Bloober Team has a great track record of making games about mental illness in which the person they're basically saying, "Hey, the people can't be helped, and mentally ill people cannot be helped. Basically, die. Go." No. Away. I heard about because the they've idea. made. They've made Layers of Fear, Observer, Layers of Fear 2, the Blair Witch game in 2019, and the Medium. I have played Layers of Fear, Layers of Fear 2. I haven't made it through Observer yet, but I own it, and I played through Blair Witch 2019 for a Halloween stream. Ah, damn it! Ago. You know what the best thing, like, what I can say about uh, Blair Witch game is? Um. You, you, you want to know how to beat Blair Witch 2019? Up 
Damn it! Ow. You're you're taking away my chance of taking down that sub. Let me go. Let me go. Autopilot, Damn, get off. Get off. Don't fucking play the game. Because if you use any of the mechanics that it teaches you, like in the two, like in the open tutorial before the game really starts, you get the bad ending every single time if you use any of the mechanics it taught you. So it, it teaches you... Oh, it's one of those games. It's one of those okay. games. You know, it kind of... Like, it's so it's, stupid. It's like, destroy the effigies that you find in the trees. Uh, kill the shadow monsters with the flashlight. Yeah, don't do that if you want a good ending. It's That's... That's just poor design, though. Very poor design. Like, it's, oh, 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 no, no, no. no. I like, find the, that to be a myopic, like, self-centered, self-righteous way of going, well, because you did what we told you, you're like a slave to the, the fucking time loop that the Blair Witch subjects her victims to. Fuck you! When I'm playing a game, you teach me mechanics to keep me alive. How the fuck am I supposed- There's like shadow monsters <laughs> running at me from every 30 directions. My dog isn't going to fight them. What am I supposed to do, Bloober team? <laughs> also, those bastards tried to make me kill my dog. You sons of bitches. That is it's, the one thing yeah, I've no, heard it, like, about- that's... Sorry, go on. No, no, I was just gonna say, that's the one thing that I at least I heard about Blair Witch that everyone at least seems to like. The relationship the main character has with the dog. Yep, that's the best part yeah, of the game. Like, <laughs> I, I would like, I would like to point out that a good relationship with a virtual animal that it's impossible to have a bad relationship does not an in, a compelling game make. Oh no, you can make the dog hate you. Probably by playing the game to get the good ending, right? <laughs> Uh, no, just ignore, like, by, okay, by playing to get, try to get the good ending, yes, by, like, the dog Damn freaks it. out about these totems that are in the tree, these effigies, uh, if you don't destroy them slowly, you will lower your rapport and bullet will stop doing what you say, will not come over for you, to you for head pats, no, you can make the dog hate you, which no. I didn't do. That's fucking... And because you didn't do that, you got the bad. That's shit design. That's yeah, bad because design. It, one of the one of the criteria for uh, uh, not g getting the bad ending is don't destroy any effigies, don't kill any monsters, and there's a point in the game where Bullet gets injured and you have to carry them around. Uh, don't drop them, even though the game keeps telling you to drop them. I walked around for five straight minutes until the game literally forced my character to black out and then wake up and bullet was gone. But it was like, there was writing on the walls, leave the dog, and I just kept screaming into my microphone on stream, fuck you! The game, <laughs> the, the game does enforce that, but many people didn't want to leave bullet until the game forces you to do it. Yeah, because people, like, because a wide majority of people are fucking psychopaths! And because they really like the dog, they don't want to leave Bullet. They like the exactly. dog that much. Well, the dog like that, people like dogs, that's why. Exactly. The, dog, yeah, the, the dog's great. It's like, why get out of this as we talk is very specifically that the game... like the, I, I can only see one of two things being a reason why it was made this way and the thing that keeps popping up in my head is they did this to pad the game because it technically forces you to play it twice that's yeah. such a dick move it, it's... yeah because it's like oh you want the good ending do everything <laughs> you did the first time around only don't it's... do anything don't use it's any super... of the mechanics we taught you it's sort of similar it's like, to... How are you, it's like, how are you supposed to know that the first time? 